While you paid good money to watch Superman vs. Batman, you probably missed our password-free Wi-Fi future, open source solutions for recycling plastic, and the tech solution for VR sickness. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where every one of your dreams is about to come true because real proton packs are here. They catch the ghost that won't stay dead. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Sony for this April Fool's joke. Virtual reality might well be the big cool future, however, you'll still have to battle that little teeny VR side effect that is sometimes crippling nausea. But now the Mayo Clinic says they've come up with a way to trick brains into feeling motion, and it's licensing it to VR companies. The system uses electrodes placed around a user's head to send signals that would replicate sense of movement. Called galvanic vestibular stimulation, this new method could reduce or possibly possibly eliminate the ics caused by conflicting information that your brain receives. You're still on your own for math homework. <laughs> Assuming that you are killing it in the 3D printing for funsies realm, you already know how expensive it can be to get new spools of plastic ink. That's why the folks at Precious Plastic have created these open source DIY recycling machines. They can transform old plastic items into new and different ones. There is a shredder which breaks things down into more manageable bits, an extruder that converts them into plastic string, and an injection mold for crafting small things along with a compression mold for the bigger stuff. Precious Plastic has published the design blueprints for those machines on its website, and building one will cost you between $150 and $220. MIT Smarties are back at it again, now with Wi-Fi that does not need a sign-in. Yes, please. The tech enables a single wireless access point to locate users to within tens of centimeters without any external sensors. The group demonstrated the system in an apartment and a cafe. The cafe experiment was 97% accurate in distinguishing in-store customers from those on the street. So obviously, we'd like that kind of technology in all aspects of our lives. If it's been too long since you almost burned down your house, YouTuber Colin Furtz designed this DIY thermo-launcher. And that is almost as fun as it is frightening to say. Let's go play! I hope he has a good five fire extinguishers around at all times when he uses that. 